And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. I hesitate to call this game even a game because when you buy it, this is the extent of what you get. Form of Jenga, some kind of dexterity game. What are we talking about? What is this thing? Well, this is a giant meeple. What's a meeple? All right, let me just show you the game and you'll understand. Like I said, this is... Okay. Well, anyway, here's the game. Yay, you put this guy on the table. He's a giant meeple. Now, what are meeples, you might ask? Well, meeples are called miniature people, and they often come from uh, different various games. The game that they're most commonly associated with, associated with is Carcassonne. So if you have Carcassonne or Ark of the Covenant or one of the variants of Carcassonne, you'll have these. There are other games that these come with, Europa, 2010, uh, there's... Really, uh, there's a lot of games with different styles, and you can use whatever you want. These meeples are refugees from a game that was destroyed by water of mine called Ark of the Covenant. And so, that's what we're using for this. Now, the game says to use seven of them, but you can do whatever you want, so I'm using nine. Alright, so, here they are. Here's the meeples on your turn. You take one of the ones you have in front of you, and you put it anywhere you want. Any way you want, as long as it's not touching the ground. And so, you can see each player is going to continue to add these. If you ever make one or more of them fall off, then you take all the ones that fell off and put them in front of you. Okay, you can see that I'm not very good at this, which is... Okay, well... Ooh, I can get on the arm here. Come on, get up! Ah, uh, That's the game. There's nothing else. However, you can go on the internet, and I'm sure, and find other rule sets. In fact, the designer says, hey, go and create your own rule sets. So what do you need to buy this? Just that big, giant purple meeple. And hey, you can use that purple meeple for a start player in a game. Who goes first? I do. You got a problem with that? Um, I'm supposed to do my wrap-up here of the game. <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying the game's bad. It's just your typical dexterity game. Jenga, building something, hope it doesn't fall over, except it's for gamers. It's a meeple. And that's what this is, really. It's a gag gift. Not, or not a gag gift, but something to buy for someone who likes games. You know someone who likes games? Then I would check this out and get it for them. Everybody else, you know, it's not the end of the world if you have one or not, but you can fit in your pocket. you got to take pieces out of one of your other games. But still, it's cute. I just don't know that it's necessary. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.